Hello friends. Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel Soul Gaming. Today I am back with another interesting and important video on Mafia City. In this video we will talk about purple color vigilante. We will see few parameters and what we should consider before getting or upgrading your vigilante. So it will help you to decide which vigilante you should focus and how far to upgrade them. Currently there are 24 types of purple vigilante. Vigilante is a quick way to get lots of buff faster in Mafia City. As Purple Vigilante also gives good buff. So in today's video I am going to tell which Purple Vigilante is best and which Vigilante you should work to get 5 star. So make sure to watch the video till end. In this video we will see all Purple Vigilante skills first. Then we will find some best Purple Vigilante to focus. In this video I have used color code. Green type color and number represents Vigilante skill is upgradable. Red color represents you can stop upgrading Vigilante at this level. Yellow color represents skill is passive, and purple color represents skill is active. I hope this video will be helpful for you. My PC approximately took 3 hour 40 minutes to render simple graphics used in this video. Those who are new to this channel and has not subscribed channel yet please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video you will get notification first. Don't forget to share video with your friends and clanmates as it will keep motivating me to bring more informative video from time to time. Those vigilante are among development vigilante, that can help you get resources, can help you in street force, mercenary and can help you build. Do you know this vigilante? Tracy. Tracy's first star boost instant building time by 15 minutes. Tracy's second star increases resource gathering speed by 50%. Tracy's third star reduces investment time by 30 minutes. Tracy's fourth star increases vehicle attack by 10%, is upgradable. Tracy's fifth star increases shooter attack by 15%. This vigilante is... Melvin. Melvin's first star increases cash production speed by 10%. Melvin's second star increases cargo gathering speed by 15%. Melvin's third star increases defense weapon attack by 10%, is upgradable. Melvin's fourth star increases shooter attack by 10%. Melvin's fifth star increases raid ops capacity by 20k. Do you know this vigilante? Suri. Suri's first star boost instant building time by 20 minutes. Suri's second star increases cash gathering speed by 30%. Suri's third star boost instant building time by 20 minutes. Suri's fourth star increases Volker defense by 5%, is upgradable. Suri's fifth star boost instant building time by 20 minutes. This vigilante is... Sebastian. Sebastian's first star reduces investment time by 10 minutes. Sebastian's second star increases resource gathering speed by 50%. Sebastian's third star increases boost instant building time by 20 minutes. Sebastian's fourth star increases street and mercenary ops attack by 10%, is upgradable. Sebastian's fifth star increases vehicle attack by 20%. Do you know this vigilante? Charkrachai. Charkrachai's first star increases cargo production speed by 10%. Charkrachai's second star increases Volker training speed by 5%. Charkrachai's third star increases Volker attack by 10%. Charkrachai's fourth star increases building speed for level 1 to 29 building by 10%. Charkrachai's fifth star increases training capacity by 150. This vigilante is... Edomai Fuji. Fuji's first star increases cash production speed by 10%. Fuji's first 
Fuji's second star increases investment speed by 2%, is upgradable. Fuji's third star increases ops load by 20%. Fuji's fourth star increases resource gathering speed by 50%. Fuji's fifth star increases increases energy recovery speed by 10%. Did you notice the color code I used? In these development type purple vigilante which vigilante do you like? In these vigilante my favorite vigilante is Tracy, not mainly on the development basis but her last skill. That increases shooter attack by 15%. Let's see some of the vigilante that have good passive skills. Do you know this vigilante? Angie Lee. Angie Lee's first star increases vehicle health by 5%. Angie Lee's second star increases biker defense by 10%. Angie Lee's third star increases crime ops speed by 10%, is upgradable. Angie Lee's fourth star increases bulker attack by 20%. Angie Lee's fifth star increases raid ops capacity by 20k, is upgradable. Do you know this vigilante? Isakurai. Isakurai's first star increases shooter damage by 5%. Isakurai's second star increases shooter attack by 10%. Isakurai's third star increases crime ops speed by 20%, is upgradable. Isakurai's 4th star increases crew defense by 5% Isakurai's 5th star increases crew damage by 5% Do you know this vigilante? Sabine Sabine's 1st star increases vehicle damage by 5% Sabine's 2nd star increases mercenary ops attack by 20% is upgradable Sabine's third star increases shooter attack by 15%. Sabine's fourth star increases crew defense by 5%. Sabine's fifth star increases crew attack by 5%. Do you know this vigilante? Kiko. Kiko's first star increases shooter attack by 5%. Kiko's second star increases vehicle attack by 10%. Kiko's third star increases shooter and vehicle health by 10%, is upgradable. Kiko's fourth star increases leader's accessory equipment attribute by 10%. Kiko's fifth star decreases crew received damage by 5%. It's hard to say which one of them is best and I don't want to disappoint them, if you can, comment it down. Let's move on to another passive purple vigilante group and compare them. Do you know the irony and difference between passive and active skill? Passive skill is always active in background. Do you know this vigilante? Izumi. Izumi's first star increases shooter health by 5%. Izumi's second star increases shooter attack by 15%, is active skill. Izumi's third star decreases damage taken from enemy biker by 10%, is upgradable. Izumi's fourth star increases leader's gun equipment attributes by 10%. Izumi's fifth star increases biker attack by 20%. Do you know this vigilante? Holly. Holly's first star increases bulker defense by 5%. Holly's second star decreases shooter received damage by 10%. Holly's third star increases attack during resource battle by 10%, is upgradable. Holly's fourth star increases leader shoes equipment attributes by 10%. Holly's 5th star inflict a minus 20% defense debuff on enemy bikers. This vigilante is... Rodrigo. 
Rodrigo's first star increases mercenary ops attack by 20%. Rodrigo's second star increases shooter attack by 10%. Rodrigo's third star increases mercenary ops damage by 25%. Rodrigo's fourth star increases mercenary ops speed by 50%, is upgradable. Rodrigo's fifth star increases Volker attack by 20%. This vigilante is... Frankie. Frankie's first star increases biker defense by 5%. Frankie's second star increases biker attack by 5%. Frankie's third star decreases damage taken from enemy bulker by 10%, is upgradable. Frankie's fourth star increases leader's cloth equipment attribute by 10%. Frankie's 5th star inflict a minus 20% defense debuff on enemy bulker. This vigilante is... Albert. Albert's 1st star increases vehicle health by 5%. Albert's 2nd star increases shooter attack by 10%. Albert's 3rd star increases bulker defense by 10%, is upgradable. Albert's 4th star increases leader's weapon equipment attributes by 10%. Albert's 5th star inflict a minus 20% attack debuff on enemy bulker. In these vigilante which one will you select? I'll go on with Izumi as she highly influences biker and shooter. I believe in her because my subconscious mind says biker and shooter are future in this game. What are these vigilante? This vigilante is... Taurus. Taurus's first star increases bulker damage by 5%. Taurus's second star increases crew attack when defending turf by 10%. Taurus's third star increases crime ops speed by 10%, is upgradable. Taurus's 4th star increases crew attack by 5%. Taurus's 5th star increases training capacity by 200. This vigilante is... Marcus. Marcus's 1st star increases bulker training speed by 5%. Marcus's 2nd star increases bulker defense by 10%. Marcus's third star decreases shooter receive damage by 10%. Marcus's fourth star increases bulker health by 5%. Marcus's fifth star increases prime ops capacity by 10k, is upgradable. I don't like these rhyming vigilante Taurus and Marcus. If anyone like them comment it down. Check these out. They are good in defending. This vigilante is... Caesar. Caesar's first star increases biker defense by 5%. Caesar's second star decreases damage taken from enemy bulker by 10%. Caesar's third star increases crew attack when attacking a turf by 10%, is upgradable. Caesar's fourth star increases leader's panned equipment attributes by 10%. Caesar's fifth star inflict a minus 20% attack debuff on enemy bikers. Do you know this vigilante? Fumiko. Fumiko's first star increases biker health by 5%. Fumiko's second star increases resource gathering speed by 50%, is upgradable. Fumiko's third star inflict a minus 5% attack debuff on enemy crew. Fumiko's fourth star increases leader's accessory equipment attribute by 10%. Fumiko's fifth star inflict a minus 10% defense debuff on enemy crew member.
Can you ignore these battle type purple vigilante that are very good for shooters, bikers, bulkers and vehicles? Let's see. This vigilante is... Ethan. Ethan's first star increases shooter training speed by 10%. Ethan's second star increases shooter defense by 10%. Ethan's third star increases crime ops speed by 10%, is upgradable up to 30%. Ethan's 4th star increases shooter attack by 10%. Ethan's 5th star increases shooter attack by 30%, is upgradable up to 50%. Do you know this vigilante? Nora Shu. Nora Shu's 1st star increases shooter defense by 5%. Nora Shu's 2nd star decreases shooter received damage by 5%. Nora Shu's third star increases shooter attack by 15%. Nora Shu's fourth star increases shooter damage by 10%, is upgradable. Nora Shu's fifth star increases shooter health by 10%. This vigilante is Paul. Paul's first star increases biker training speed by 10%. Paul's second star increases biker defense by 10%. Paul's third star increases biker health by 5%, is upgradable up to 25%. Paul's fourth star increases all ops speed by 10%. Paul's fifth star increases biker attack by 10%, is upgradable up to 50%. Do you know this vigilante? Bruce IP. Bruce's first star increases crime ops speed by 10%. Bruce's second star increases bulker training speed by 10%. Bruce's third star increases bulker defense by 20%. Bruce's fourth star increases bulker attack by 10%, is upgradable up to 50%. Bruce's fifth star increases bulker health by 5% is upgradable up to 25%. This vigilante is... Andrew. Andrew's first star increases vehicle training speed by 10%. Andrew's second star increases ops load by 20%. Andrew's third star increases vehicle health by 5%, is upgradable up to 25%. Andrew's 4th star increases vehicle defense by 10%. Andrew's 5th star increases vehicle attack by 10%, is upgradable up to 50%. We have seen all different type of 24 purple vigilante. Which type of vigilante do you like most? By seeing all the skills of all purple vigilante I understood that each vigilante has its own unique advantage but for good active skill you can completely focus on Ethan and Paul as these strength and shooter and biker, which plays a very important role in battle. And for passive skill you can unlock 2 star of all vigilante as first 2 star takes less fragments. After unlocking 2 skill you can go for Ethan and Nora Shu as Ethan will boost shooter actively and Nora Shu passively. You can also upgrade your vigilante based on how far to upgrade as shown in the video by red color representation. It took me 2 weeks to make this video, let's see what will be the outcome. Kindly give me feedback on what to focus and improve. I enjoyed making this video and I learned something. You can check out some of my previous video. Your support fills my drained energy.